Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to show you evolution x rom which is one of the best rom available for the oneplus 9 and 9 pro so without wasting any more time let's get started as you can see i have installed evolution x on my oneplus 9 pro and if i go into the about info section it says evolution x version 7.2 for lemon dev and the android security patch is of 5th october 2022 let's have a look and see what this rom provides and is it worth installing on your oneplus 9 series device coming to the basic functionality all the basic functionality is working fine wifi is working bluetooth is working and calling also works without any problems if i talk about the bloatware it is very minimal on this and it comes only with the required apps from the first look the rom looks very very snappy fast and responsive you also get all type of authentication that is fingerprint to unlock the device works fine face unlock also works fine and you also have the app locker to lock your apps with fingerprint and face unlock and if i talk about the launcher you get this basic stock pixel launcher with this one for now moving on if If I go into the about info section, you can see that the Android version is Android 13 and the Evolution X version is 7.2. And if I get to the splash screen, you see Android 13. So you'll get all the latest and greatest features released with Android 13, like more accent colors to choose from in wallpapers and color section. And you also get this new player widget, output picker, and other features. So all the latest Android 13 features are there and working well. All your banking and payment apps will also work fine as the ROM passes the safety net test out of the box. And if I show you the wideband security. Or the level, it is L3, and you might not be able to stream HDR content on Netflix and other streaming sites. Moving on, if we talk about the camera, you don't get Oxygen OS camera or gallery app. You just get the basic AOSP camera, and you will need to install a good G cam to make full use of the camera. Comment down if you want me to make a video on the best G cam of the OnePlus 9 Pro. Talking about the battery, I didn't face any drains, but this ROM is currently not optimized, so you might get significantly less screen on time compared to others. I am getting close to five hours of screen on time. And if I talk about charging speeds, charging speeds are fine. The phone can fully charge between 40 to 45 minutes, so face no issue there. Talking about gaming. You can get full 90 FPS support in BGMI. As you can see in BGMI settings, you have the option to select 90 FPS, and you can also play on 90 FPS. The gaming performance is also much better than Oxygen OS 12, and you also have a basic gaming mode. Comment down if you want a complete gaming review on this ROM. Now let's talk about the customization option that are available on this ROM. Since Evolution X ROM are very popular for their extensive customization sections. Now we have a new menu in the settings called Evolver. Inside Evolver, the first option is Themes. Inside Themes, we get the option to select a dark theme. Theme and we have various option for a dark theme also. Next up, we have the option to select font, and we have plethora of fonts to choose from. And then we can also select icon styles like Signal or Wi-Fi. Moving on to status bar setting, we have an option where you can enable status bar lyrics. Next, we have clock and date settings, including logo and network traffic indicator. Then we have battery customizations, which are battery styles, battery percentage, battery percentage when charging, and battery bar. Then we have 4G icon settings, including some miscellaneous settings like colored icons. Next up, we have notification options, where we have options like re-ticker, heads up notification. and then we have the in call vibration options which include vibrate on connect vibrate on waiting and vibrate on disconnect we also have blink flashlight for incoming call inside quick settings we have clock settings date settings battery styles and battery percentage then later we have other qr settings like quick pull down smart pull down and then we have brightness slider position settings with some tile animation and at last we have clear all menu notification option inside power options you can select which icons to show on the power menu inside gestures we have brightness control and toggle the flash Light when screen off, followed by tap to wake gestures. Inside buttons, we have navigation bar, system navigation options. Then we have volume rocker settings, alert slider settings, and click to partial screenshot setting. Going to animations, we can select the default screen off animations and power menu button animations. Inside miscellaneous, we also have a game space, which is a basic gaming mode. Then we have unlimited Google Photo storage and unlock higher FPS in games. This options enable you to play 90 FPS in BGMI. And then we have some more miscellaneous settings. And finally, at the bottom, we also get some OnePlus extra settings, which have options like alert. slider customization touch boost ambient display gestures kcal color calibration per app refresh rate high brightness mode f sync gpu adrenaline boost fps overlay touch screen gestures game mode tp edge limit usb 2.0 fast charge and system vibrator strength wow those were a plethora of options and it took so much time just to go through each one of the settings evolution x is definitely living up to its name 
So should you install this ROM? Yes, you can install this ROM and use it as a daily driver. The only problem will be the lack of Oxynos camera and Widevine L1 status. You will need to install a decent Gcam on this ROM. The ROM is really really good and I am yet to face a bug or problem on this one. Thanks to the developer for putting so much hard work and effort in building this ROM. Comment down if you want me to make an installation video on this ROM. Also I make a lot of ROM reviews and I will be trying other Android 13 ROMs. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. Thank you for watching.